I saw two angels. When Daniel saw the two angels, he wanted to let his wife know, but the angel indicated that he should keep silent. Immediately Daniel's power of speech was taken from him. Nacob began to cry, fearing that Daniel would die. The angels took Daniel by his shoulders and lifted him out of the ambulance. Suddenly, Daniel found himself in another place with one of the angels. Daniel, I have a lot to show you. As he looked out, Daniel saw a place where a multitude of people gathered, and their appearance was like that of the angels. Their color was pure white, and their bodies seemed to glow with radiance. Because of their similar appearance, Daniel thought he was seeing a gathering of the angels. This is not the gathering of the angels, Daniel. This is the gathering of the saints. The differences between the saints and the angels were subtle. Their color is a pure, brilliant white from their hair down to their feet. But the difference is that the angels have wings while the saints do not. The saints were worshiping God. They worshiped God with one voice and raised their hands as they were singing. Daniel heard the sound of many instruments, and the sounds were like nothing he had encountered before. He longed to join these people and moved over towards them, but the angels stopped him. Daniel, don't go. I have a lot to show you. Take this file and record everything you see. The multitude that Daniel saw were all looking at a bright light that shone like the sun. It was a source of all the light there. A very thick heavy light coming upon them there. Now they were all looking at that light as if they are seeing something there. But to me, I cannot look at that light. Can you, I cannot look at that light because um, it's so dangerous to my eyes. So I tried to dodge to look through, but there we are looking through, but to me I cannot look through. Let's visit the mansions Jesus prepared for his people. Immediately, Daniel was in a new place with radiant mansions as far as the eye could see. was incomparable to anything he knew on earth. Though the appearance resembled buildings, the structure was unusual, not made of any earthly materials. They seemed to be alive, moving. Daniel. Jesus has finished his work. The mansions are ready, but the saints are not ready. There was a sound of beautiful singing and worship, and it seemed to come from all around. Daniel wondered where the singing was coming from because he could see no people there. Daniel, the worship song you're hearing has been sung by the flowers. As he looked, Daniel saw the flowers swaying in response to the music. 
it actually seemed as if they were clapping their hands, shouting, and praising God. They are waiting for the saints. going to visit hell. Can you see the gates of hell? The angel raised his hand and as he brought it down, the gates ripped open with a great noise. Daniel could hear the crying and wailing of many people, but he could not see any of them. And then he light shone from the angel's body into the darkness so that Daniel could see more clearly. There were many people there, but unlike the souls in heaven, the appearance of these people was as it had been on earth. They were from every race, culture, and nationality. Every person seemed trapped in their own personal torment, a torment which would go on for eternity, and they could not communicate with others. The sounds of crying and wailing were almost deafening. Suddenly, they all seemed to become aware of Daniel and started crying to him for help and they called to Daniel only as if they could not see the angel. to made the statement, the force that was tormenting him seemed to increase. The people had flesh, but no blood, and they almost seemed to be on fire, although no flames could be seen. was a group of people that were eating their own flesh. They would vomit what they ate and their flesh grew back. This carried on in an endless cycle of torment. Those people you see eating themselves, they practiced witchcraft while they were on earth. They specialized in eating human flesh and now they'll eat themselves forever they are reaping what they sowed. That place is not good for any human being created by God to go. And God did not make that place for human being. He made that place for the devil and his agents. But stubborn human beings who will disobey God like the devil will also go there. God have no mind to put any human being in hell. It's a dangerous and a deadly place he made for the devil and his people. What was to follow was an earth-shattering statement by the angel. Daniel couldn't have imagined in his wildest dreams that he would hear the judgment. Daniel, 
If the book of your life was to be closed today, this would be your portion. No. I'm a pastor. I'm a child of God. I'm born again. <laughs> and I preached all over this, this country. I mean, the, the country in which I'm... This, this, this can't be. No. No. This can't be. Enough. Daniel, on your way to the first hospital, you were asking God to forgive you, but you would not forgive your wife, and your sins have not been forgiven. It is a matter of reaping what you've sown. You cannot sow unforgiveness to your wife and reap forgiveness from God. Mm -hmm. And immediately he made that statement, my spirit convinced me that what the angel told me or the judgment on me is true. So he said to me that I didn't forgive my wife, that I'm not forgiving. So while I was crying, 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 shouting and shouting, I was not crying that, that I was only saying, you see how I destroy my soul? Look at how I destroy my soul. While I was shouting and crying, I was afraid. Tears was all over me. I was panicking because that place is not good for anyone. And, and the way everything was looking, not to, if, if God went to put me inside here, nothing would prevent him. Because um, while we are discussing, some group of people, thousands of people, we are being sent into hell. People started praying for him, praying for resurrection. Then the angel said to me that he's sending me back to the world to go and warn this generation because this is going to be the last warning to this generation. As prayers was going on, then his heart began to pant. Life began to come in his heart. They continued praying, we are praying, we are praying. As all these things were going on, he began to breathe gradually, but his body was still stiff. I saw myself being held of a lot of people. Oh, I was naked, I was wearing only trousers, they pulled all my dress, I saw a crowd of people, more than 20,000 people. I looked my left, right, everywhere. People were shouting, crying everywhere. Some, were, some was praising God, some was crying, some was... I was looking around, I couldn't understand what was happening. Because to me, I was falling down and I fell into pit. And to me, when I opened my eyes, I, was see, I saw all hands was grabbing me. They, they said to me that I jumped up. I saw this big cathedral. It's a very big cathedral. I looked by my right, my left, my front and my back. Everywhere was full of people. And some people were shouting, some were saying coffin, some say mortuary, some say three days. I couldn't understand what was happening because I, my experience there is not more than 15 minutes. So I don't know what they call about three days. To me, there was no night, there was no day. There was, it was only that moment I was into. <laughs> I now uh, said to my wife, yes, what is happening? She said I should keep quiet until when we get to the house. Brought me back to my house, this place with my wife.